Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Today we'll be talking about a couple of tickers that I thought uh, could do really well in forming some good chart patterns. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't trust anybody you see on the internet without doing your own research first. So uh, here we have ticker RAIL, and uh, what really interests me is um, not really the intraday you know, positions, but uh, because it's way too low volume and it's not really tradable. What more interests me is its uh, daily chart and what it's forming here. It kind of seems like it's forming a bullish uptrend and it keeps on hitting these points. Uh, we'll still have to see what this chart is forming, if it might start increasing here or if it's going to drop below this point and actually hold this 4.7 area. If it does that, then that means we know that it's trying to break out here. Either way, it's still trying to break out of the 7.6 area. And if it does, we could see a run to nine, we could see a run to 10, to 12. We have to see how far it goes um, and how much volume it then we'll carry with it. Right now the volume is really, really good. I mean, they all have over a million. So that's already, that that's a good thing. It shows it has momentum, it shows it has strength, and that's always a good sign. The next ticker we have is ticker SPCE. This is a very popular one, one that we all love, and uh, that we know is gonna go absolutely insane. Uh, today the chart wasn't amazing. Um, the intraday trading is not that great. It formed this W here, or it's about to ex probably uh, break out of this W, but it was mainly dropping down majority of the day. That's completely fine because that's actually what we want it to do. We want it to go back down because if we look at this daily chart, we want it to go back down. We want it to fill this area that it originally skipped over. If it does that, then it will show that it has momentum, that it has strength, and that it actually wants to break out, which is exactly what it's doing. We have the 30 um, EMA line. and it's following above with this SPCE stock and it's really showing very heavy strength. Volume, not a problem, that's a check. Over a million, that's exactly what we need. Some of these have, oh, this one has 260, this one has 100. The volume is absolutely okay, it's amazing. And um, it's really good, probably going to start climbing back up. It might go down tomorrow to fill this tiny gap here of about a dollar. If it does, that's completely fine. It doesn't really have to. I mean, it filled the majority of this gap that it originally skipped, which is fine. And we could see a curve back above this point. And then once it breaks out of this 57.5, uh, then it'll probably run up and then it might have some troubles at the 62.7 area, and then once it breaks out of there, we should see a very, very nice run-up. But if you see this position, it is absolutely huge. I mean, so much momentum, so much power, so much publicity. This stock is just something that we need. This is a gold mine if you play it correctly. And it's just showing that I, I, I don't know, I can't find anything that's that's bearish on this stock. It's just nothing's showing, nothing's happening. And I did hear that it has a very, very good short percentage as well. So people might start covering their shorts if it does end up breaking out of a 62.80 position. And that's always a great sign. Yesterday, if you saw the SpaceX launch where uh, Elon Musk launched his rocket again, and that was an absolute success. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, what happened. They actually caught the rocket. If you didn't see that, go watch that back. It was amazing. But this obviously did affect SPCE because this is a rocket company and uh, SpaceX is one of their competitors. They're versing with them. They're trying to beat the market. And this probably did have some effect on why it got, you know, why it was brought down to this position and to this level. But if SpaceX does end up failing, which I don't think it will, but it will have an effect on SPCE. Right now, I don't think it's that relevant, but just so you know, it's probably not that relevant, but it still does have an effect on SPCE because they're both in the same industry, they're both in the same area that they want to get um, their spaceships in space. That's the whole goal. The next ticker we have is ticker AMC. I love AMC. We all love AMC. The Wall Street bed stock short interest still so high. 
still strong. I mean, it's just a red day. It's nothing at that point. This is nothing we should be worried about. The problem is, is that some people are getting a little bit impatient and you can't. This is a stock that we have to build and we have to cherish, okay? People are, I mean, the hedgies, the hedge funds, they're gonna start covering their shorts like crazy. It's forming a perfect bullish pennant, okay? We could see a breakout, maybe July 7th, July 8th, we, we might be able to see a breakout Hopefully on the upside, we still don't completely know. But if it's able to break out of there, expect a very beautiful movement, maybe even back to the 70s. If, that, if it does that and it breaks the 72, 60, it's, it's going to 100. It's happening. Like, there's almost no doubt in my mind that if it plays this, it's going to 100. Some hedge funds might play some shorts. Uh, I mean, might start selling their short positions if it does end up breaking here, which will just shoot it up. But I really don't think that they're going to sell all their short positions at 72.62. They do. It would be more smart on their part, but then we won't we won't make as much money. But I really don't think that they're going to sell a lot of their short positions at 72.62. I think they're going to hold it, and if it does end up breaking up into that point and start running that high. We might not short it till it reaches 200 per share. We don't know. We still have to see. But this is still bullish. It's been bullish. And it has my entire support. Thank you so much for watching this video. Click the videos on your screen to watch more analysis on stocks like AMC, SBCE, Wish, NNDM, and more. Like and subscribe for more content.